water is here since ever. No water, no life. The hand axe is the first man-made tool you can hit, crush, smoothen something. 700 years ago, we started to control fire, our basic for heating, cooking, or energy. Since 42,000 years ago, we, we are able to record most important communication. The invention of agriculture, the cultivation of animal and plants, this was one of the biggest steps for mankind. Mix grain with water, heat it up, you get bread. If you make a soup of bread, you get beer. <laughs> Look at the pyramids, they are still among the most impressive buildings even today, four and a half thousand years later. The Phoenicians were the first to use abstract signs for more and more complex content. Since 2,800 years, we are telling the story of the Odyssey. The Codex, this is the form of a book, replaced the scroll. Most human knowledge is stored in books. This book is by the Venetian publisher Aldus Manutius. We still use this typeface called Bembo. Long before the invention of photography, since almost 500 years, we are able to render things in correct perspectives. And long before modern buildings were called modern, it was around. Japanese buildings are basic, modular, and rendered at a human scale. This is the perfect chair, invented for coffee houses, produced more than 50 million times, again and again. Marconi made wireless communication possible 136 years ago. The classic way, man dress, shirt, suit, tie, this is timeless. Cars are around since 1886. This car didn't almost change for 70 years. Everyone in here has a smartphone, but touchscreen technology is 42 years old. What we have seen is a list of about 20 innovation. The basic motivation behind it is to improve step by step, generation after generation. This is what we call an evolutionary approach. This is how craftsmen work. The results are always carefully shaped, designed, and engineered over time. On the other hand, today, the driving force behind innovation is to create something new or different, even for its own sake. Everything and everyone starts with a blank paper. This is a revolutionary approach, and this is how geniuses work. The problem is that not everybody is a genius. Results of wannabe geniuses may generate attention, but they don't stand the test of time. No wonder the term innovation is such a buzzword. Now, I mean, we are just so much developed. This is a very sophisticated environment. So the harder it will be to innovate, the faster time moves, even the more carefully we have to invent. As a kid, I love to draw. Now, 42 years later, I'm a graphic designer. It's a hard find against mediocrity, but it's a wonderful profession you can have. I mean, you can make others to stand out and this in times of information overload. So let me give you one last thing, is that I'm sure that there is a passion, a talent for a craft in everyone. Thank you. <laughs>